Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 33 in chapter 9. Chapter 9 is about leader momentum. In this one, we can see a water, right? It's just a fall down and then hit the pan. We need to find the force. Act on the pan by the skill. So there, we can see the water fall down in this pan. So first thing we need to consider is the weight of the station water uh, just uh, on this uh, pan. Another thing we need to consider is this water just uh, fall down, there must be a force act on the pan. Do you agree? So this is two parts. The first part is the weight of the water already in the pan. The second part is the force needed to stop the falling water. Right. So first one, first part is very easy, the weight of the water. So that means this is the gravity of the water in the pan is mass times the g. And this mass changes with the t, right? So we use the delta m divided by delta t times t, this one. This is uh, this one. The water falls into pan at a right 0 0.14 kilogram per second, this one. Therefore, when you put it inside, we get the final answer. This is the weight of the station water, uh, the W. It is a function changes with T. Another thing is we need to find the force needed to stop the falling water. We can see the water from there stationary to there, the V2. We don't know, but then when this water just hit the pan, it gets stationary, agree? So first thing we need to find is the V2. This one is come from the energy is conserved initial energy equal to five final energy so we can get the v2 is square to gh v2 is get now can you find the force the to stop the pain sure we can find the force water act on the pain do you agree that is a force times t equal to the impulse this impulse is change of the momentum Final momentum minus initial momentum equals impulse. And then we can say V3 is zero and V2 is given. So we can get the force. The water act on the pan, this one. As the Newton's third law, we can get the force, the pan to the water. It's just equal in the magnitude, but opposite in the directions. Do you agree? So this force is fine. Now we can see this when we consider the force, the force on this scale, we must consider the weight and also the force needed to stop the falling water. So we add these two together, we get the final answer. The second one is uh, we consider the t as the 9 second. Can you find this force? Sure. If t is 9 second, we just input t equal to 9, we get the final answer there. The third one is uh, tell us repeat as uh, A and P, A and B, but replace the shallow pan with a tall narrow cylinder container. So this time, this is a tall narrow cylinder container. What does that mean? It means this when this water fall down, this edge will increase. Do you agree? Agree? Yes. So. When this one water fall down from the orange part to the blue part, what is equal? Volumes, right? So we can see first one, how much water is fall down volumes? This one is a volumes for this one is mass divided by density, right? And we know this mass changes with dirty, right? So this mass changes with dirty. So at time t, we can get this uh, the, the right, zero, zero, 01. Point zero point one four times t and one over rho. This rho is density. Density for water is one, right? Is one. So finally, we can get the answer for volume of the water. This one, and then we can see it is this volume of water just fall down on this narrow tall cylinder, and the cross sectional area is given. So a is given. Agree. So in this one, you can find find the h equals to the tube. Is this equation fine? As we see, this edge, the edge on this tube increases with the t. Agree? And we can see this edge keep increase. This is the uh, 2.5 meter. And uh, when this uh, water, this orange water fall down, fall down, we can see this orange one just uh, increase, increase, increase. And then we can consider the heat of that water force just hit the 
Spin just hit this cylinder. The surface of a cylinder is just this one, right? right? Use two point four meter minus this increase with the narrow blue cylinder. Agree? Yes. Now this edge is just we get as progress. So we can get the V two as this one. This is we did in question A. It's become H plus now. And then we just repeat what did before. And then we can get the force water act on the pan equal to this one. The change of the momentum divided by delta T equal to this one. And then this force act on the scale should include the weight and the force pan act on the water. Add them together, we find it is in this function, right? Things become different. Now, similarly, if the t equal to 0 0.9, we find the force become a little bit smaller. This one. Thank you.